All right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are doing our three month update on the five way spray sealant test that we are, yeah, currently working our way through pretty rapidly. So three months since we applied all five of these products. So we have G Technics C2V3, Bowden Zone bead machine, which coming into this test was our current winner, taking down the last two tests against a bunch of different competitors. We have Lithium's Ceramic Slam. Another Aussie product in Merch Bead King, which as of last update has taken the lead in this series. And IGL's Premier, which up until the last few weeks had been doing really well, the most hydrophobic, but now the Merch has taken over. So yeah, it's been another two weeks since we did the last video, which was at our 10 week or two and a half month update. Now in that video, I noticed that the sort of top corner of this Bowden Zone section, and as well as a few little strips in the IGL section, looked like some sort of chemical had gotten onto them. So I said in this video, I might clay it. Um, I had a subscriber actually comment saying, why don't I mask off half of each section and just clay the top half and see if that does anything. So that was a great idea. That's what we're gonna do. But first we're gonna go ahead with our traditional wash and rinse. So I'll just move these all out of the way. Grab our hose and we will do our initial rinse. Has been a lot of crazy sort of weather going on here. So yeah, raining yesterday, hot. So good mix. So we'll go ahead, get these all rinsed off. Okay, so that, it's just me or is that Bowden's looking better than it did? That's weird. Okay, maybe it still had some soap residue on it or something. I'm not sure what's going on there. But yeah, it's just sat outside for another two weeks. And well, it's still looking, not looking as good. It sounds like better than the lithium, I feel like, which that's pretty surprising to me. So, okay. That's interesting. We'll get our wash mitt out from the bucket of Carpro Reset. You're gonna wash the entire sections. I'm gonna be actually a little bit more thorough this week because now I'm feeling like last week, did I not like wash one of the sections properly or what happened there? So yeah, a little bit more thorough in all of them. Okay, just to keep it transparent, I'll rinse on camera. Okay, so I'm gonna officially just skip past the G-Technic. It is completely dead. Um, it's not doing anything anymore. So not really worth showing. It's still, you know, probably doing something, but not worth filming. Nothing you can really see on camera. So we're gonna just move on to the Bowdens. Go ahead, flood that section, which you can see is not hard to do anymore. And that is sheeting off pretty well. So that back corner that I was worried about hasn't been the one to sort of hold onto the water. So, okay, interesting. Not sure what is going on with the Bowdens, but yeah, you can see that it it sheeted off the water pretty quick. Move on to the lithium. I'll try to get it so you can see the like writing at the bottom so you know which section we're on. So this is the lithium ceramic slam. You can see, we're able to flood that section. Oh, hang on. Still pretty hydrophobic. But yeah, we've got that flooded. And we'll just wait for that, working its way around. It was weird because it was actually quite hydrophobic as I was rinsing it, but then it took a second, but there, there we go. Once it starts, 
it sheets that water off pretty quick, coming from the top and the bottom, meeting in the middle, and dries. So maybe I'll just swivel the camera back a little bit. Let's sort of compare the lithium and the Bowdens. Try and see if I can get them both flooded. I probably won't be able to. They're both sheeting the water before I can get them both completely flooded. Close, okay, there we go. All right, the water did mostly run over, <laughs> over to the Bowden side, so it wasn't the most fair comparison. And now it's doing what the lithium did a second ago and not shitting any of that water off. So the lithium is dry and the Bowden's is still completely soaked, I'm not sure why. It does this occasionally at this point of the test. So you can do like a finger tap and it'll dry it, start the sheeting process, which it's done there. So let's just try that again. Okay, this time it started pretty evenly. One sheeting from the top, one sheeting from the bottom. And yeah, looks like the lithium is sheeting off that water a bit faster. The other one's just making its way to the top now, it's a little bit slower. So yeah, they're both still there, they're still sheeting that water off, but I'm gonna say the lithium is looking a little bit ahead at this stage, so there we go, right. Now, the Bowdens has finished shooting that water off. So, keep coming down, try and get this in the shot, move my hose out of the way, there we go. So, okay, we've got the Merch Bead King. Haven't been able to completely flood this one as of yet, which is pretty impressive for three months, and it is still the case. Look at that, too hydrophobic to completely flood that section. and water comes off very quickly. So that's impressive at three months. That's not something I've seen yet in all the tests that I've done between all the Maguire's, Mother's, Turtle Wax, Car Pro, Bowden's Lithium, g Technic, you know, all these products that I've tried. The Merch at three months is definitely the most impressive. So that is pretty surprising and pretty impressive for a spray sealant. And the ideal, let's see how it's looking. So are we able to flood that? Yes, we are, not easily. But yeah, we are able to completely flood that IGL. And then that sheets that water off pretty quickly. It does have the benefit of being on the angle, the water all running off to the side. But yeah, it's sheeting it off pretty, pretty well. Also, very impressive for three months, I've got to say. So these four that are still going in the test, I will just say these are I feel like the best four that we've had so far. I remember from previous tests, Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Wax, I think it's called, Hybrid Ceramic Sealant, the blue bottle, blue liquid. That one was pretty good. The Mother's CMX, also pretty good. But I feel like these four are the ones so far that have impressed me most in all these tests. So as we rinse across, you can clearly see a difference. The Merch is Clearly, most hydrophobic. I'd say the other three are looking pretty similar to different speeds of sheeting that water off. So, yeah, there we go. There is the sheeting test. Just to make this nice and even, I'm gonna dry this section, the sections all off before we check our beading. And then I think we'll still go ahead and clay them and see what happens, just for, for reasons, just to see what really that will do. Maybe that'll bring some of them back. Maybe it'll start stripping them away. I'm interested to see. All right, so we've got that dried off. Use the blow air dryer and they all seem to blow the water off pretty quickly and easily still. So yeah, if you had this on your car at this stage, any of these, um, your bonnet would be dry when you're driving along. So go ahead, mist some water over each section so we can check out the beading. Should be about enough. We'll change over cameras. Get the light on. So we'll start from this side. 
with the Bowden Zone. So I'll try and not move the camera too much so you guys can see. Just move it very slowly. So that's the Bowden's, definitely still beating up quite well as a comparison. That's the G-Technic section. So that's clearly not beating and this clearly is. Coming over to the lithium, bring it in a little bit closer. And yep, neither have the perfect round beads they started with, but for three months, that is quite good. The Merch. So it doesn't have the round perfect beads it had either. None of them do, but probably the, still the nice tightest, roundest beads in the Merch section so far. And lastly, the IGL. So, IGL still looking pretty good. We'll work our way back around, grab the hose. So this is a good way to really compare them. So we still do have those weird lines where it's like something has run down the panel on the IGL. So causing the beadings look a little bit odd um, or the way the water is reacting as we try and flood it with the mist section. So you can see it kind of runs off. Still pretty good, but here is the merch, and wow, the merch for three months, it is honestly crazy. Like, it's almost, I'm not going to say unchanged, but it's not far from it. it. That for three months looks better than most sealants on the market that I've tried have at one month. That is crazy. Well done to merch on this. This, yeah, every week, or every update, I'm expecting it to just be gone and the other ones to take over, but... No, nope, it's sticking, sticking to it. Yeah, very impressive. Okay, so the lithium. Still pretty good. Like, for three months, that is, that's impressing me, let alone what the other one is doing there, the merch. The Bowdens. Still pretty good too. Really not much between the Bowdens and the Lithium. I mean, I really could, wouldn't want to really place them. Um, obviously the sheeting, the Lithium seemed a little bit faster, but it also comes down to how the water hit it, the way it was running. They're very, very similar. The Merch is clearly still winning this whole thing. Like it is crazy. And the IGL, it's kind of hard to tell because we've got these spots where it's failing spots where it's not so we'll try it up here yeah i mean it now say the igls it's got sections that are on par with lithium and the gardens but i mean uh i mean in this section like in this test the Bowdens is looking a little bit better, I will say. The water isn't completely just flooding and pulling up. It is kind of running off as it hits it. Whereas the Merch, not quite as good. Ah, sorry, the Lithium. The Merch definitely is better. And the G-Technic, I mean, yeah, it's too hard to call, but I, I would say that for this particular test it probably looks like the Bowden's looks second best but it's just so hard to call like the really the Merch is in first I'm just gonna say the IGL Lithium and Bowden's still overall hard to call them between them tied second second third fourth whatever you guys want to think um, okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mask off half of this or maybe just like the top little section and I'm gonna clay bar it so we'll see what that does and I'll pick the camera back up Okay, got a little tiny bit of clay. Put some masking tape down. So let's see how this cup reset works as clay lube. Not really the best, obviously, but it's giving a little bit of slickness, so it should still work. So yeah, clay down each section. So I won't go and film this entire 
process, but this is basically, I'm gonna do it all the way along. Shouldn't really be any contaminants, no there's not. But yeah, so I'll continue working my way across and then I'll do one more rinse afterwards. So yep, let's get to that. Okay, so yeah, we clayed it, we removed the tape. Let's see what happens. I removed the tape just to make it easier. I even did the geotechnic section to see if that improves, so. Which it hasn't. I mean, the lithium looks unchanged. The merch looks unchanged. IGL, yeah, unchanged. The Bowdens, does it slow down? No. So, there you go, you can clay your sealants and it's not gonna really affect them if you do get them contaminated. Has it really brought anything back? No, I don't think so. They all look about the same all the way along. Like, Merch is a good one to test for that. No. So yeah, there we go. That's something that I thought I'd try out, um, but swap back to the other camera now. So, that's three months. They're all like dry, just from rinsing them to sand. They've all dried. That's not something we've seen at three months previous tests. Maybe it was the two coats. Didn't do two coats of the Bowdens ever in the previous test, just that some of these products called for two, mainly the G-Technic, not that it did anything for it, and the IGL. Um, so I don't know if the two coats really extended the life of these. Maybe it's unfair to compare them to the previous ones, but none of those called for really two coats. They, yeah. Um, but I'm impressed with these four. Now the G-Technic <laughs> did dry itself. So maybe the claying did help a little bit up the top, but I don't think so. Um, so yeah, that is it, that's three months. I mean, I guess I'll film a three and a half month in another two weeks, and then a four month, where is where I normally end it. I guess really to see how long this merch lasts. And, because I'm guessing three months usually the Bowdens is starting to really fail. Get to four months, it's basically over. Um, see what happens with the lithium and the IGL. And I wanna see if this merch just keeps going strong like it has been. So. I'm gonna keep filming them if you guys wanna keep watching them. But yeah, we'll film three and a half month update. We'll film the four month update. There's gonna be, a, I reckon, a big change in the next update in two weeks. Surely there will be. Um, but a four month, we'll see what happens if it's still going. And we just have one or two sections still, who knows? But yeah, we'll, we'll judge that as it comes. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. That's it for this video. Probably a little bit longer than usual because we did the claying section as well. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. It does really help the channel when you guys do like, share, and comment on the videos. It really push, pushes YouTube to show it to other people who haven't clicked on the videos before. So if you wanna help the channel out, that's the best way to do it. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, until next time, I'll catch you guys later.